song tonight I'll be performing will be Hine Mi Tase Shel Shlomo. And he named me Tosso Shell Shlomo. She shim giborim sabib love me gibore Israel. Kula makose kara milame. written in Shir HaShirim by King Solomon. Um, there are different reasons that are given as to why he wrote it. Uh, King Solomon really, according to tradition, had many difficulties. In fact, his kingdom was taken from him for a while by a demon called Ashmanai, the king of the uh, Shadim, of the demons. And the legend goes that the let me translate the words first so we can get some idea. So it translates as, Behold the couch of Solomon. Sixty valiant men are around it, valiant men of Israel. 
all of them gripping the swords, seasoned in skills of war, every man's sword upon his thigh, because of the terror in the nights. What's, what's it really saying? What's the 60 valiant men? So there are different opinions as to what, is what it refers to. Again, some say that it was a protection for his beloved Raya, again, his beloved wife that he was protecting, that she felt troubled, and that he surrounded Agashi with actual soldiers, which seems a little strange. Others say that it refers to the tabernacle and the 600,000 men that surrounded the tabernacle when they were in the desert, an allusion to that. And again, they are, they're seen to be, there are 60 words in the second part of Tiberechacha, which deals with the priestly blessing in the second part of the song, that the uh, blessing God, again, Yiberech Hashem Yishmerech, may God bless you and keep you. And uh, Yorech Hashem, may God uh, set his lights upon you and teach you graciously. May God has his light upon you. peace. There are 60 letters in that blessing. Again, something in the Torah, Torahic blessing that the priests still do today on the holidays. In Israel, it's done at the Kotel every day. Again, Spartan do it again every day. It's a major blessing that's given by God, that God blesses the people through the Kohanim. 60 letters. There are also 15 words. 15 words is a yud and a hey. We have a tradition that this world was created with a hey and the upper world with a yud. Yud and a hey are one of God's precious names. So again, this again alludes to the priestly blessing. When it talks about the ish, ish harbo al yurecho, that every man has a sword, a cherub, on his, a a chuzas uh, each one holding a sword. We de milchama those that know war. Actually, this refers to the cherub. Is the Torah was given a mount cherub? Same thing as this word cherub stands for. By the way, three traits that show a person is Jewish. These are inbred traits that a Jew has: chesed, rachamim, and busha, kindness, mercy and modesty. In fact, the Gemara says that if a Jew does not possess these traits, then he is most probably descended from the Erev the mixed multitude that came out from Egypt. These are Jewish traits. And when it talks about, again, Ahuze Cherev, they hold on to this Torah, Lulam De Molchama, those that are trained in war. Warfare is talking about the Gemara, the Talmud, and the debates that go on among the sages, searching for truth in Torah. Ish Harba Yurecho, each man with a sword on his thigh. Again, alludes to the Harba, the Cheru, the, the Torah, and also Yurecho, circumcision. Again, this that makes a Jew who he, what he is. And this, this protects him, Ipaka Balelos, from all the travails of the night, all the difficulties that we seem to come to in our life and in, in our living. This is a very special song for me. This was the last song that I've written, and even though I pray every day three times a day and I've been doing it, I've been about tshuva now for 44 years, and once I started praying three times, I think I missed Minsko once. And praying to me is special, a connection with God our Father in Heaven, and that's what it really is, a private audience. And there's a prayer called Kriya Shemala Mita. Uh, that before we go to bed, we give over our soul to God Almighty and ask Him to protect it for us and return it in the morning. And sleep. And again, as we go to sleep, the sleep is considered one sixtieth of death. And, <coughs> excuse me, somehow I never said the prayer in all these years. When I'm ready to go to sleep, I'm tired. I close my eyes and I'm gone. And if I'm going to start praying, I'm always afraid that I'm going to be up much longer. So I never said it. But it seems like over the last year or so, I toss and turn a bit and I have things I'm thinking about. I don't go to sleep right away. And about four months ago, I was laying in my bed and I thought, you know, it's probably time. Probably time to start saying Kriya Shema Lamita. 
and I got out of bed, and I sat in my chair and opened a sitter, and I started to say the words, Rebunish level. You've never said Kriyash Malamita, it's something to do. It's amazing just to read it. And when I got to the words, these words of the song, Hine Mitasi Shal Shlomo, amazingly God inspired me and a song came into my mind, the one I just played. And I didn't have a guitar, it was just a cappella. It just came into my mind. And what a gift. Again, whenever we're inspired with the song. And this is where it came from. Again, just sitting in a chair saying it for the first time. Ever since then, I've said Shkriya Shemita every night. I kind of felt like I had to after a gift like that from God Almighty. I felt that I owed him the courtesy of saying Shkriya Shemita every night. I'd like to play it for you again now that you understand a little bit about this song.
Thank you for listening.